game. He throws a pick, you sing a Prince song. Brett Favre, 282 consecutive starts, ties him with Jim Marshall of the Vikings for the longest streak in NFL history by a non-kicker. Here's Favre with a little kicking to Bernard Berrien, the ex-Bear, 27 yards down to the Bears' six, and the Vikes are already Berrien, Chicago. On the same drive, kind of a coming out party for Percy Harvin. Six receptions for 101 yards, and it's seven zip Minnesota. The Bears come right back. The good news is this is a touchdown at Johnny Knox. The bad news is it's the only reception by Johnny Knox. We're tied at seven. Harbin showing off all his talents off the pitch. Carries it 35 yards this way. This will set up the second quarter touchdown to Chester Taylor on a little flip with a 10 yard touch and it's 14-7 Minnesota. Turnovers hurt the Bears all day, all month, all season. Knox, kickoff return, fumble and nearly fumbled away his pants. That would lead to a field goal, and Minnesota would be ahead 17-7 late in the second. Cutler looking for Knox. Nope. Cedric Griffin. Minnesota does nothing. They punch. Cutler says try it again. Deflected and intercepted by Jared Allen. 20 intercepts this year from Jay Cutler. 17-7 still in the second. Clock winding down. Favre, Sidney Rice, 33 yards to the Bear, two. And then after a penalty, Favre, 392 yards in the day to Vicente Schenko. And whatever happened to Prince? Well, he's serving lattes in the luxury suites now. 36 to 10. Cheer up. 36 to 10 Vikings. Purple rain indeed. They're 10 and 1. 24 TDs for Favre and just three interceptions. Tiki Barber was on assignment in Africa this week. He'll be back to cover the Giants game for us next week.